We did a little uh, video the other day uh, of Hello and my solo on that, and I had a lot of response from my guitar buddy. It said, uh, do some more of that. So uh, we're doing uh, Last Train to Clarksville today. Um, it's the first hit record that I played on, and uh, I got my foot in the door for studio work in L.A. Um, we had three guitar players on that song. Uh, Wayne Irwin was playing the chords. And uh, I had my friend Jerry McGee playing this on the top. All the way across the solo, which made what I was doing work a lot better. I was playing G to F, G to F, different inversions, and using the uh, open string. Uh, a lot on the G. The thing about Clarksville is it was in G, which is a good guitar key with a lot of open strings, whereas if it had been in A flat or F sharp, <laughs> we may never have had a uh, last train to Clarksville. Um, so I was playing something like it. So I'll play that for you again with the track. It works together uh, with all those parts very well. That was the solo part. Uh, the intro and the rest of what I was playing through the song was just holding down that G note while I'm letting the other notes ring playing that. So I'll play that with the track too. That seemed to work pretty good. Also, I've had a lot of uh, inquiries as to, did I play it with a pick or fingers? I, I played it with a pick because we wanted a, a nice, hard, bright attack to it. Uh, and what guitar, what amp? I played a Tele and uh, straight through a, a Fender Super Reverb. We didn't have pedals in those days, so it was pretty much guitar amp straight into the mic, which is what I'm doing now, basically. So that's about it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed that.